Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming back and welcome to any newbies that are here for the first time. Um, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I look after and clean my artist brush um, Oval 3 and Oval 6. Um, I've had a couple of videos on the actual artist brushes, um, so if you're interested in how they actually work and how to use them, then please check out those videos. I'll try and link them below or I'll put a card in so that you can just click on it if you're interested. Um, so yeah, with regards to cleaning the brushes, I do have have the actual artist brush um, cleaning system so that consists of the uh, cleaning block which comes in the box like so um, but it actually looks like this I can just show you that <laughs> so it looks like that okay um, basically it's a metal frame um, with a microfiber cloth inserted in there I'll just open it so I can show you how it actually lives in the casing so it's just like so that just snaps down on top it's a very heavy unit um it's got four uh like squishy feet i think that's the technical term the squishy feet on the back so that can sit nicely on your um, desk and it just stops it from moving around keeps it nice and rigid there okay um so yeah that's the unit it looks like so i also have the cleansing foam the artist cleansing foam so i use these in combination um together to clean my brushes so um I personally think that it is the better system for cleaning the brushes. Um, any of you that have got an artist brush will know that they're very, very densely packed. Um, so they're not ideal for getting wet um, because they're going to take an age to dry. Um, I have seen some other videos where people have used their own methods and they've... Um, occasionally met with disaster, somebody, the head even fell out of it just because it got so saturated. Um, I think they managed to get it back in, but it's definitely not a drama that I'd want to go through. Um, so I personally um, like using the recommended system because it just seems to be the quickest and the most effective and safest way of cleaning the brushes. Um, so the microfiber cloth itself, um, they describe it as being um, antibacterial. So it has some sort of antibacterial product within it that just helps to cleanse the um, brushes more effectively. Um, I don't know what that is, there isn't actually any detail as to what it is, so if you're particularly sensitive or if you have any concerns about what that may be then I assume you can probably contact the company and ask them for details, but it's probably going to be something akin to what you wash your hands with, um, you know, or, or products like that that go into any sort of cleansing solutions um, just to, you know, remove any, any bugs and nasties really. Um, so with regards to actually using the brushes then, I personally use them um, as, the, <laughs> as it's instructed really. Um, I tend to um, do what's called uh, clearing in between um, uh, when I'm using it to create um, a look I will clear the brushes in between use if I feel it's necessary. Now I have to say I don't do that an awful lot because I find that the product um, doesn't bleed or doesn't blend um, into the other product that I've used. Um, I, I don't know why, it might just be something that's unique to the um, way that the brush is designed, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't find that I need to clear all the time. I only really do it if, um, for example, I've done um, contouring, so it's quite dark, and then I want to go back over with highlighter. I haven't done it and it's been fine, but I tend to do it um, just to be on the safe side, really. So what they tend to, oh, what they, sorry, what Artist Brush describe clearing as being then is when using mostly powder products, the artist brushes can be cleared from one powder to another by simply wiping the brush tip several times across the dry surface of the microfiber cloth. This action pulls the powder residue from the tips, making the brush ready to accept another powder product for application. This method is particularly useful when applying eyeshadow and switching from one colour to another without the need to completely wash the brush. Um, so, as demonstrated, you just brush it backwards and forwards across the microfiber um, and that clears the brush so you're ready to move on to the next product and you can be completely confident that they're not going to bleed or distort or taint one another in any way, shape or form. Now, if I've, um, so if I normally clean my brushes every couple of days, um, so 
uh, what I will do then is what they call a full cleaning um, and that's where you apply a small amount of the cleansing foam um, to the tip of the brush. I tend to apply it to the brush but you can actually apply it to the microfiber cloth as well, either or is absolutely fine, you don't need to worry, there's no right or wrong with that, it's just about making sure that some foam comes into contact with the brush in some way. Um, so they describe or they suggest that you dip the tips of the artist brush into the foam then gently stroke, wipe the brush tips across the antimicrobial microfiber cloth until the makeup residue is transferred to the cloth, leaving the brush clean and sanitised. Reshape the brush if necessary and allow to dry. Drying generally takes only a few minutes and that's absolutely correct as well. Um, when I have cleaned the brush and then I've needed to go back and use it for whatever reason, it's totally fine, you can go straight back to using it. Um, it isn't wet as such, so it won't, again, um, taint or ruin or set any powders or anything like that, but you're then putting it in contact with. It's totally, it, it's just such an easy cleaning system to use. I absolutely love it. Um, so, as demonstrated, it's a really, really easy cleaning system to use. It is a bit pricey, I have to say. Um, it's £40 for the um, actual cleaning block um, and then it's another £20 for the foam um, but then that said I've had the foam since um, I think about October November time and that's how much I've used <laughs> so this is going to last an absolute age um, I think I featured this uh, these two items when I first bought them back in October November in a beauty haul that I did and I was a little bit mm, is it a gimmick not really sure quite pricey but I'm completely sold on it now um, I can really understand the um, validity of having it and the the use and the ease of use um, so I can I can definitely say for me personally it's a really positive thing to have and it's definitely worth the investment because I really feel that this is going to last and last and last. Um, the microfiber cloths do need replacing now they don't tell you how often it needs replacing, they just say, um, hang on, let's see what they say, it's very vague, uh, and replace the microfiber cloth with an appropriate frequency. <laughs> I think that really depends on what you think's appropriate. Um, I haven't replaced mine yet, I've, I've cleaned it, what I tend to do is um, spray it with the foam, um, and then I just get another microfiber cloth and, and brush it over, to be fair, because that's actually just going to lift anything out. Um, so it's still working really effectively. I probably will buy a couple. I think you can buy the microfibers individually. So I'll probably buy a few and put them with it, um, you know, and then just replace them as I think is necessary. So hopefully that's been useful for you. Hopefully you can see how easy the system is to use. Um, and also you can use it whilst you're, you know, doing your makeup and be confident that your um, brushes are clean. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, then do leave them below. I will try and answer them. Um, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.